Yeah, I've, I've been doing it a little bit. Actually, I haven't really had a ton of practice doing Lavalois stuff. Um, I've watched a whole lot of YouTube videos, though. Oh, yeah. That's that's pretty much how I've learned most of what I do, is just watching YouTube videos and trying to do the same thing. It's cool that there's so many. Oh, there's tons of stuff out there. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, not all of them, no, I just kind of picked some of the bigger ones and some smaller yeah. ones to take a nice picture with over there. Um, yeah. I'm gonna see if I can fix this, make a platform from this side, come at it from the other direction. So I find with this material, it's best to like use the kind of direct punch method. Mm -hmm. Freehand, I was getting some nice flakes, but you really need to have like the perfect platform for that. Oh yeah, otherwise you lose a lot of force like into your hand. Exactly, yeah, it kind of wobbles around a lot. Yeah. So this is like a harder quartz, quartzite pebble that I use. This is one I was using, but it was really too soft and it was just kind of turning into dust. Yeah, it looks like that one inside is really breaking apart. Yeah, but it seems like this is working pretty well for the preparation. And then I use uh, this one, this big one, for the actual big flake removals. So, yeah. It's not looking so good. I feel like part of my biggest problem with napping is I'll, I'll get in a rhythm and then I just want to keep going. I don't want to stop and think about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. And then I end up fucking up because I go too fast. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of the opposite. I'll just like sit and stare at it for 10 minutes and then my arm gets cold. Oh, and yeah. then, you know, like <laughs> you need to just keep the rhythm going. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> yeah, thanks.
I'm predicting that this is not going to work very well, but... I think I've played around with that platform all I should. I should just go for it at this point. So I decided to fix up this original platform I was working with. That's that earlier hinged flake. That's a real steep platform angle there. So I'm going to have to be really careful. But I want to see if I can try and undercut this hinge. Bring it all the way out to there. it even worse. Uh, that could have been nice. I need to stop holding back on my strikes. Let's see if I can come at this from the side here. keep trying until I can't try anymore. Coming from a different direction now. This hammer stone's really soft, so I don't know how this is gonna go, but Finally got the last of the hinge out of there with that last one. The hinged flake came this way and actually dove into the stone. You can see where it tried to get in through the center there. Looks like I finally removed the last of it. Maybe I can come back from this angle now, go this way. <laughs> 